All right, so here we are at the computer and I got the thumb drive plugged in. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is what's on the inside. We got a PDF of the manual, everything it comes with here, what everything's called and the technical specs, but also how to get started. We got another folder here called printing test. And that's going to be the Arook in STL and GOO form. So you can print it out. STL is the 3D file that we can view. And it looks like we have more chess pieces included if you want to print some of these. And for the last folder, we have the slicer which is Voxel Dance Tango and they have a Mac or a Windows. So I'm using Mac. I'm going to install. So we're going to drag this over. I'm going to download. Let's go ahead and open it up. So I'm not too familiar with Tango, but I hear it's a very good slicer. And it's interesting how Elegoo is using Tango now instead of G2Box. So if we click on the first icon where it says platform definitions, so we need to add a new printer and find the Saturn 4. Here it is. You can see a picture of it. Add machine. So all of the parameters here should be what you need. You can adjust things. And we can see our resolutions in 11 and K, which is almost 12. And here's our build size, just 218 by 122 by 218 looks like on the Z and on the resin tab we have more about the resin and below here we have the price the print so these are going to be all the more fine tuning and advance even more things to adjust here so I'm just going to leave everything the way it is and we'll just see how it does so we'll click apply and we should be good to start our slice here I'm wondering if they have a dark mode so I just went to settings and in general we have dark let's see if that works there we go. That's much nicer. I prefer dark because it's easier on the eyes. But yeah, here's our build plate. And there is a label here that says front. If you want to face your you know, models to the front, that's where you'll face them. Initially, this will be upside down, obviously. So let's go ahead and throw an Eiffel Tower in here. So it kind of zooms in into the model. So there's a little arrow here. If we push it, we can see we got some more options, what we're working on. We got a bunch of options here. So if we select the model, we have all these things we can do. The basics, the move. Rotate same way scale, which I do want to click the scale to fit and we can see all the parameters here on in this corner Which we are going all the way to 218. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty decent size <laughs> large Eiffel Tower So again click on the tower to have more options up here You can duplicate mirror on plate orientation and it kind of has a little picture that helps you to see what all these are for You can also hollow out the model which for this one We don't need and also we can make a hole in the model to drain resin out you can also label any Thing. And we got more advanced options here, including support here. So we don't need supports for this, but if you do, you will click on here and then you will generate them from this menu here. So this does take a little bit of learning, but you can just use the default and click on generate supports and you can see that it will generate them. And it's just stuck on 89, so I think I'm just going to cancel if it lets me. Okay. But in any case, that's how you do supports. All right, so it won't even let me cancel at this point. Might have to restart this whole thing. All right, so I had the force quit as it got stuck. No big deal, I guess. It's asking us if we want to restore, I guess. So let's try doing that. There we go. With the model still not at the correct scale, so let's rescale it to fit. So let's just click on slice. And there goes our slice. So we can see our layers here. And we have a little scroller here. We can scroll through them. So we have all of our stats here on the side and here we can control the bottom layer count, the exposure time. I'm actually going to turn this down just a little bit to 2.2 for the regular exposure and the bottom exposure will also turn that down to 25 seconds four layers instead of five and the rest I guess we'll just leave the way it is so I'm kind of making it where it cures a little less and less bottom layers not a big change just a small little one but you know obviously you're going to adjust all this according to your resin and how it's sticking and things like that so yeah once you're happy with everything you're going to click on export slice it's going to ask you what kind of file you want to make so it's going to make a GOO file and where you want to save it so we're going to save it straight to the desktop and click OK down here and now it's making the file and here it is. We don't really need to open the folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag it, the file that we just made, the GOO file, into our thumb drive. And it's going to appear here in the thumb drive. And now we can exit this out and then take our thumb drive to the printer, plug it in, choose our Eiffel Tower, and start printing. And once we're done here, on the top here, we can click back on preparing. And we go back to the main screen here where we did everything. So yeah, hopefully this helped with a little quick overview of how to slice a print for the Saturn IV.